child, you want to go ahead and watch this video the whole way through? Because I'm telling y'all about the time I thought I had a job. Girl, it is juicy and we got receipts, baby. We got receipts. Go ahead and stay tuned. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Winnie, and I'm back <laughs> with another video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and consider subscribing to your girl's channel. New videos are posted every Tuesday and Thursday, sometimes on Wednesdays, depending on what's going on. A1 since day one, or however long you've been here, I sure appreciate you. Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm talking about? Already, man, it's all love. So today, I am doing a ombre slash marble set so what i'm doing right now is i'm putting some reflective gel on top of the uh nail i actually was not able to see the reflective gel because um it wasn't necessarily really on the tip what i have on my nails right now is the eye gel no mm -mm. what your name is mm, what is your name it's a builder gel Cha, I can't remember the name, but I got the, it's a clear, oh, IBD. I have on IBD clear builder gel, uh, hard gel on my nails already. Um, so I just took, I had on a previous um, color. So all I did was I took my uh, drill and I drilled all the color off until I got to the clear layer. And once I got to the clear layer, I did um, need a fill. So what I did was I took some of uh, Lisette gel nails, uh, rubber base gel and I filled it in using that and then um, I just made sure that the nail was not bumpy or lumpy because um, child if it's bumpy or lumpy people are gonna be able to see that and then um, be looking all upside your head so I did two coats of that and then what I did was fail um, I put on some white uh gel polish from where are you from i think it's from nail addict yeah i think it's from nail addict and so basically the white that i had is nothing wrong with the company um it was just how i stored it so i stored it like laying down and so basically i ain't really have that <laughs> Basically, I ain't even had that much daggone white in there. You know what I'm saying? So I had to tilt the bottle and make it do what it do, baby. And so, cha, I want to go ahead and tell y'all this here story time. I was going to wait. Well, I wasn't going to wait. That's a lie. I actually forgot about it until I went into my messages. Because, yes, ma'am, I still have the receipts. And I'm going to post the receipts up in this piece. So, I put the white gel down because um, I did not want the glitter to show. And so, I made sure that I cleaned up my cuticle and all that great stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because, baby, honey... Like, we not finna be walking around looking crusty and dusty. You've been doing nails for two years, almost. I almost been doing nails for two years. And so you done learned a lot. So you need to go ahead and take your time and make it do what it do. Okay? Okay. So, child, May 5th, 2020. Let me go ahead and look it up for y'all. So, May 20. May 20. She tried it. Girl, where are you going in your phone? Okay. So May 5th, 2020 at 224 PM, I got a text message from uh Tony Domenico. So he said, Hi, said my whole first my whole first name, Wendy. Um, this is Tony Domenico regarding the remote administrative assistant position. I sent you an email about the payment. Kindly check and get back to me. So it's not odd that I receive um because I put my resume up on Indeed. And so it's not odd for me to get uh, emails or uh, basically emails first about remote positions. Um, it was one job that I really, oh my goodness. It was one job that I really, really wanted to do. I wanted to do this job when I was in the army, but stuff just didn't work out. So they were like, oh, you can go to CENTCOM Tampa and you could go there. And you can work and you can make $80,000 a year, blah, 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 blah. So my heart was broken because I'm like, why are y'all offering me this job? I would I would have went as a, as a civilian, not as a um, not as a service member. So I was like, man, why y'all offer me this job now? You know what I'm saying? Like, 
I'm out of the I'm out of the army. Like this is not like I'm not going back. She's not going back. You know what I'm saying? And so I was just like, why would you send me this now? Why didn't you send me this when I was in? Anyway, I digress. So child, so I'm be doing a story time and telling y'all about the nails at the same time. I mean, you got 24 minutes, 58 seconds, and seven, I guess, nanoseconds, I guess. So, I mean, you came here because you wanted to see what the girl is doing. So I'm putting uh, ice probe alcohol, I think. No. Um, what's that stuff called? I'll know when a bottle comes. Girl, where's the bottle at? What are you doing? Why is there so much blank space? Honey, let's get this together. Okay, so I'm using acetone to clean up my cuticles and stuff like that because we don't want no lumps, no bumps, honey. You got to take your time, baby. So, you know, I often get messages, you know, saying, oh, we have this remote position. Do you want to do it? So on and so forth. So 2020, you know, that's when the pandemic started. And um, especially in May, that's when it was like really raging. So, um, you know, I told him, I said, yeah, um, I'm interested in the position. You know, what is it that I need to do? So he said that um, he was going to uh, email me the details and he was going to let me know. So I said, OK, you know, what I'm saying I was like, all right, cool, 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 cool. And so didn't think none of it, didn't think none about it. Um, yeah, so, and I actually have his email that was saved. So let me see how he started to, uh, let me see. Um, yeah, so basically he sent me a message saying, um, telling me about, uh, thank you for your interest in our remote assist administrative position. Below is a brief summary. And so it was supposed to be like a home health care. Um, but when I went and looked the home health care company up, uh, oh, so basically what I'm doing right here is I actually did this wrong. Um, I was actually supposed to put down the um, both colors, and you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. Um, I actually did not ombre this one right, although it is ombre. You see that girl? You see the ombre? You see the ombre, sis, okay? So basically, I'm taking my um, marble brush, and I'm doing that flick method that I like to do when I do marble. And so I'm flicking it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, um, going up the nail and down the nail, making it look um, ombre. You know what I'm saying? And so just stay tuned because you'll see what I'm talking about. So then I just go ahead. Every, all of the polishes I'm using, minus the white one and the um, reflective gel, they're uh, Beatles gel, pol uh, yeah, gel polish. And so, yeah, we'll talk about that uh, in the next, the next few so he was saying that the pay is $500 per week, 10 to 20 hours are required weekly, the timing is flexible. So I said to myself, I said, so myself said, huh? I said, sis, like if it's flexible and it's only 10 to 12 hours per week, then you can knock that bad boy out in about two days doing five hours per day. So I said, $500, you have piqued my attention. You have my interest, sir. Cha. So, you know, we go and we talk in. And so he said, thank you for your interest, blah, 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 la 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 la. So he said, please confirm your acceptance of this offer by replying to this email with a letter of acceptance. So um, I told him I was available because he asked me what my availability was. So I told him that I'm available to begin, to begin work in May 8th. I accept the position. Thank you for the opportunity. Because I'm a, you know... I'm a new civilian. I don't know about cover letters and I don't know about all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? That stuff that y'all be doing, you civilians. I don't know anything about that. So I just told him that I accepted the position. He told me that it's supposed to be a letter that I was supposed to do saying that I accept the position. But baby, I don't. What is this? You know, what is this? So basically, he told me that the position requires a computer, security printer, VoIP um, phone, virtual assist pro is a licensed application software performing all the signed tasks, monitoring and reporting and a fax machine. OK. And so he told me. All the above listed equipment and materials are prerequisites for this position. A check for twenty nine fifty will be mailed to your address. This check is to be used for the purchase of the required equipment and 
materials, which is $24.50, and then my first weekly pay, which was going to be $500. So this right here, you saw me put the orange down and you saw me put the um, nude down. So basically, I'm just uh, flicking both colors back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Then um, in one nail, like you'll see me go all the way down the nail and then come back up. And so I'm really achieving an ombre with the uh with this method so what i like to do is i like to make sure that my brush is clean so you'll see me continuously dip the brush in um acetone yes i could just wipe the brush off i didn't want to do that i just want to dip it flip it move on you know what i'm saying and so um it's really really easy to do the ombre method this way um and there is another ombre method that i have done using dip powder and that bad boy works really, really good as well. And so I just wanted to try different things because, like, we're not a one-trick pony, okay? So he said, the order instruction will be forwarded to you when the check is deposited and clears. So um, he wanted me to send my full name as it should be on the check, a valid phone number, and an address where the check should be mailed to. You will be contacted via the phone number provided. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out at any time. Sincerely, Tony Domenico, HR department, and he gives me the home health care agency. So I'm not going to put the home health care agency on blast because when I went and I did my research and I was looking at the reviews, this home health care agency is, is, is not... It's not giving what it was supposed to give, okay? So I was like, well, do I want to work for a company that has two and a half stars? You know, because I'm all about doing stuff the right way. And I just have that spirit of excellence, honey. So those who know, know. So I'm going back to the thumb because I did not like how my thumb looked. And so now I'm going to do the same method with my that I did with the pinky. I'm going to do that with um, the thumb. And so April 30th. Because he he emailed me back in April, baby. So I gave him my name. I gave him my address, so on and so forth. So then he, so I sent him that April 30th, baby, okay? So he get back with me May 5th. And so he was like, sorry for the silence. My stepmother had a surgery, so I had to go look for her for the time. I just returned, and I thought I should notify you that your check will be delivered to your address with the amount of $29.50 on it keep an eye on it kindly use the ups tracking gave me the tracking number status and have it deposited via mobile deposit or any nearest atm machine around you let me know as soon as you receive and deposit it in your account so now that i'm looking at this email talking to y'all because i kept the receipts baby just for y'all so um looking at this there are some grammatical errors okay so the i is not capitalized there's not a um dollar sign when it comes to the money um it's just like a lot of it's not giving what it's supposed to give you know what i'm saying it's not i don't know it's just something wrong with it so i did i see him something else hold on y'all i'm trying to uh zag on uh so I think that was it. That's the only, that's the last message that I got from him as far as, and so this was Tuesday, May 5th, 2020 at 2 18 PM. Right, right. Okay. So then I go to my messages because Tony sends me a text message. Okay. And so he said, hi, says my whole government. Uh, this is Tony Domenico regarding the remote assist, the remote administrative assistant position, comma, it should be a period. <laughs> I just sent you an email about the payment. Kindly check and get back with me. So I received the payment. I did. Hold, hold that thought. Okay, so here's my receipt. This is the check that was sent. It was issued through uh, Tucson Federal Credit Union. But, baby, so what I'm doing right now is I'm taking the... Um, I'm taking a yellow and I'm taking an orange. And if I get um, yellow on my brush, then I just simply wipe it onto the um, paper towel. So, baby, hunty, and I think I'm using white. No, it's another orange. So I want to do like an orange type um, spring vibe with this. And I really liked it, but <clears throat> I, I had, like I changed, <clears throat> excuse me. I changed my nail color because... Like, oh, and these are the Enel Couture Extreme Tape, Extreme Square. And so I just brought them in to make them look tapered because um, I like a tapered nail. So I'm using iGel Beauty's Blooming Gel. Um, really like this. It's really thick. So you really only need a thin coat. So back, back to the receipt. 
you know, of the check. So upon further inspection of the check, baby, honey, let me tell you, it wasn't given what it was supposed to give. So I've had plenty of checks before. Like I'm a business owner. Um, at this time I was running my business. So I've had like checks from churches. I've had not like churches, the restaurant, like actual physical buildings. So I've had checks from churches. I've had checks from um, other people. I've had, you know, I've been, I've, I've had checks before, like checks like this that they were showing. And so <clears throat> I'm looking at it and it just don't look right. It does not look right at all. Like the paper feels like check paper, but it doesn't like feel like check paper. I mean, for those who know, no, go back and look at the check and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. It was like, <clears throat> it's not cardstock. Whatever paper they used to print it on is not the same feel. It didn't give me the same feel of a, you know, of a check that comes from a bank. You know what I'm saying? And so like the fonts were kind of off, like the color of the colors of the check was kind of off. And so <clears throat> there is a Tucson bank, but I mean, it just screamed for me, for me. Okay. It just screamed scam. And I actually know somebody <clears throat> who shall remain nameless, that was scammed. Like they actually deposited the check into their account and this caused their check, um, you know, like it, it, it's, it was fraud. And so um, like they had to wait for three days to be able to access the account. And that was like their main account. Girl, ain't nobody got time to have my funds on hold for a twenty nine fifty check. Girl, no, we want our fund. We It's my money and I need it now. Okay, okay. So I'm just doing like a plain orange nail and then a plain light orange nail because it was just giving that pop. It was like, baby, I'm in your face. Like we're, <laughs> you're doing it. And so when I was doing my nails, I was thinking to myself because I had somewhere to be the next day. And so I said to myself, uh, or the, the next two days. So I wanted to tone my nails down. I did for what I had to do. But <clears throat> I just couldn't, like, I just, it just wasn't in me. You know what I'm saying? I was like, my nails have nothing to do with anything that's going on here. I do my nails myself. I have the proof because I have a whole YouTube channel and I post my nails on Tuesdays. Wednesdays, I'm trying to do what the t-shirt stuff. Thursdays, I'm doing some kind of craft thing. And then Saturdays, we know that that's TikTok compilation. So we know what's going on on this channel, baby. Okay. Okay. So I just wasn't, I just wasn't able to tone my nails down. Like I did tone down my dress, like how I dress. I had on a, you know, nice sweater. It was a nice gray sweater. I had on some of my uh, skinny jeans because your girl is losing weight, baby. <laughs> your girl losing weight. And then I had on my um I had on my burgundy boots that my mom bought me because those boots just make that outfit pop like that's what happens when I put those boots on baby. The boots that I wanted to wear before, you guys haven't seen them but they're very they're very me, they're very loud and in your face. And so I was like don't don't wear them like that's not the statement that you want to make. <laughs> you need to be very professional. So child, let me tell you about Tony. Yeah, we on a first name basis. So I didn't deposit the check. You know what I'm saying? I ain't say nothing back to young Tony. Cha. So on May 7, 2020 at 1248 PM. Hello, Wendy. And he first of all, he didn't he didn't capitalize the W. So now we have an issue, sir. You didn't even capitalize my W on my first name. Oh yeah, you tripping. The check has been delivered to you today. Kindly have it deposited via mobile deposit or any nearest ATM around you. And send me the deposit receipt for reference purpose. And so I never got back with Tony. Um, I was very, I'm not even going to lie. I'm not going to lie because I really wanted that job. Because like my brother's in home health care and my brother is killing in home health care. You know what I'm saying? Like he's on the medical side of things. His best friend is on the hospice side of things. And so them two together, the Sons of Thunder, like they are killing the home health care game. So I said, well, I can do my part for home health care, you know, and then maybe work for their company one day if I do the remote administrative position. So some of these charms are for debt from Daily Charm. You already know these are Swarovskis, like don't play. I'm using <laughs> I'm using Zule nails. Um 
uh, nail glue. And what I messed up with this nail glue was that um, I, I actually store it just like that, like how it's looking right there. That's exactly how I store it because if you close that bad boy like I did my Jenny Secrets, that's why I don't use the Jenny Secrets one no more because uh, basically I can't even get the bottle open. Like I've used my tool. I've used everything that I can possibly use and that bad boy is done so basically i need to go ahead and throw it in the trash so what i messed up with this one was i didn't like actually like you see how i'm like daubing it like that i should have actually like brushed it on in like a thin layer and then went back up like went back in and like built the layer up around it because it actually was um it was bumpy and i had an issue with that like looking at my nails i was just like bro like this bumpy stuff is is killing me honey so I'm not going to lie, like that job, I really wanted it. It was 10 to 12 hours a week, $500 a week. Um, so, you know, that's essentially that's $2,000. And I was just like, dang, man, like why would, you know, why would you scam me? And so, I mean, but essentially it all worked out because I ended up getting that, um, that pandemic uh, assistance from the government. Um, I can't remember how much I got, but I, I was approved for that full amount because I started my business that November. And so where one door shut from the scammer, you know, God opened up another door and I was able to ride that, uh, pandemic unemployment assistance for, uh, I want to say till this year, I think, or last year, something like that this year or last year, whenever they, uh, canceled it. Um, and so I was able to like redo it and stuff. So, and I also didn't like this index finger. I mean, this, uh, ring finger because how I put them jewels on there, like it looked one way in my head, but baby, uh, -uh I should have just used the daily charm thing that I have that looks like that, like that little reef looking thing. I should have just used that, but I didn't use a child. And so now I'm looking crazy. So I've sprayed the Mia secrets, um, setting thing or whatever and this is just another Eno couture um top coat that i use i really like his top coats because they're super thick and so like as you can see around my cuticle there's still some issues but what i do is um off camera like once i'm done filming the video i have like a thinner nail file and so i'll go around my cuticles in any place where there's gel or um like if i need to make the cuticle flush like I'll do that. So I'm really learning how to build up the nail and I'm learning how to be a little bit more patient, not much. And so I just want to give a word of caution to you guys. If you, um, you know, it's not bad for people to reach out for you on Indeed, but make sure you do your research. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't think that, I don't think it was a real job. The company is not a good company to work for. Like I said, I'm not going to put them out. But um, just be aware of the scams because they're out there. If anybody's giving you a check, you know what I'm saying, up front, I would just go to the bank with it. I wouldn't do an a e-deposit. Like, go to the bank and the teller can, you know, let you know if the um, check is legit before they deposit it because, um, yeah, you don't want to have them issues. And so I really hope that you guys like this story time. Um, yeah, child, it was... It was a lot. Your girl almost got scammed. And so this has been Journey with Wendy. I'm mean, she, her, and Wendy. New videos post every Tuesday and Thursday, sometimes on Wednesdays, depending on what's going on. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them down below or hit your girl up at Journey with Wendy with an I, not a Y, at gmail.com. And with that, you know what that means that your girl is what? That your girl is a.